Mother's Day is this Sunday, and I used to think that my mom just had fun making us guess like what she might want to do, what she might want to get to celebrate the day, because me and my brothers go crazy. But it turns out that there's something called Mother's Day stress disorder where mom guilt causes moms to resist celebrating themselves. And the whole thing turns into a no win holiday for moms as well as for their families. So here to walk us through tips that moms can use to overcome the stress is America's number one mom coach and parenting lifestyle expert, Hannah Keeley. Hannah, thank you so much for being here. I am so excited. Like every time I get a chance to help moms, 100%. I know. So I have to ask you, because you are a mom yourself, have you ever experienced Mother's Day stress disorder? Of course. <laughs> Absolutely. It's like, okay, first of all, you have these expectations. Okay. You don't want to share your expectations because you don't want to appear selfish. And then you get in the middle of Mother's Day and you're like, well, they're not treating me the way I wanted to be treated. I didn't get any cards. I didn't. And all of a sudden you're emotionally punishing those people that you love the most and the day just kind of if you're not constructive about it if you're not proactive about it it's going to spiral downward and it can do that really fast you don't want that you must have my mother's phone number <laughs> <laughs> i actually talked to her about five minutes ago she said you're doing a killer job way to go this is her to a t and i just did not know that this was a thing so i'm so happy to learn about it so you have three tips for us right that moms can kind of use to yeah. uh get rid of that stress absolutely number one this is so important clear communication like you know, I know you already have an idea of what you would love to see happen on Mother's Day. Maybe your husband's thinking, you know what? She wants to spend all day with the kids and we'll just like do all these activities together. She might be thinking, I want to go shopping by myself. <laughs> you, 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 that no one will know yes. if you don't tell them. So communicate with clarity. People love you. Your family loves you and they want to make sure you have a good day. The clearer you communicate what that means, the more they can help and facilitate that for you. This is so perfect. And I, I, I have experienced this. I thought I was gonna take my mom to go get our nails done, have a mani-pedi. And she was like, I'm just not really into like having my nails done and <laughs> going to, cause obviously I am. <laughs> so I thought yeah. that was gonna be good yeah. for her, but she wasn't into it. That's so good to, to have clear communication. So we know what our moms are thinking. So what's, what's the Absolutely. second one on the list? Well, second one is to release expectations. Now, this is a huge one because a lot of moms are like, well, they have this subconscious expectation. They're going to uh, surprise me with breakfast in bed, and they're going to give me cards, and they're going to do everything to make sure this day is special. And what happens? Sometimes nothing. And then there's the silent treatment. Then there's frustration. <laughs> then there's a little bit of anger, some resentment, all that kind of stuff. So what I want to recommend is for moms to take full responsibility of their joy. Like we have to know that no one can make me happy. No one can make me mad. I get to control that. And I'm going to release expectations of what other people must do for me. And I'm going to take full responsibility of saying today, I'm just going to have joy. I'm just going to have peace. I'm just going to have fun today. That's perfect. So what's number three? Okay, number three. Now, a lot of moms are going to be resistant to this, okay? <laughs> however, however, we've got to reward ourselves because here's what happens. A lot of moms, I call it totem pole syndrome, that you pile so much stuff on top of you. You put yourself last. And then guess what? If mama ain't happy, you know it. Ain't nobody happy. <laughs> and ain't that the truth. Some, <laughs> a to the men, right? <laughs> but here's the deal. When you can really reward yourself, like you make the appointment for the massage, right? You make the appointment to go get your nails done. You go use that Amazon gift card and buy what you want, not what the house needs. When you reward yourself, this is self-care. And that is actually one of the most unselfish things a mom can do is to take good care of herself because a whole functioning happy mom is gonna create a whole functioning One happy family. One million percent. I love that we are covering this today because it helps the moms, but I also think that it helps people who are in their mom's lives. I, Hannah, I cannot thank you enough for coming. Uh, you know, you really helped me out. So I know somebody watching got some, some use out of this also. Thank you so much. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you so much for letting me come on.